Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is overreaction Monday. It is manic Monday. It is crying in my cereal Monday because the Cowboys lost, and it sucks. It truly freaking sucks. <sighs> It hurts. Um, and I have to come to a realization. I have a lot of people out there that say that I'm delusional, that I'm crazy, and things like that. And maybe I, I need to start realizing that maybe I actually am that guy. Um, I've always been a fan of Dak Prescott and a supporter of him. I believe in him on and off the field, but... You know, when they talk about the numbers and things, you, you got to start to question after a performance like that yesterday that if you're having games like that, it's not good. You know, uh, one of the talking heads were out there saying that, you know, Dak is literally taking himself out of the MVP conversation all the way around after being beat up by Pat Mahomes with that performance that was just abysmal. And. You know, fuck. it's hard to take, you know, because when you play that badly, when your numbers are that bad, how can you be considered a franchise quarterback? I, I just, I just don't know. And, and the Cowboys, I think they're going to have to think about trying to figure out something different because nobody, nobody that's a franchise quarterback has numbers that, I mean, let's look at them. It just hurts to even read this. Here we are thinking that Dak Prescott is like Pat Mahomes or Aaron Rodgers or one of these, you know, franchise quarterbacks, the Lamar Jacksons or the Josh Allens or, you know, hell, Matthew Stafford's. And to go through and have 260 yards, no touchdowns, one interception, and a 71.9 rating. I mean, how the hell do you expect to win when you have numbers that are that bad? I mean, that's literally atrocious. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That was actually Pat Mahomes' numbers. Sorry. It, it's, it's been a crazy, stressful day. Um, I can't seem to think right, you know, realizing that Dak Prescott sucks, that, that he's not the guy. You know, I, I just can't seem to think straight. So let me make sure I get these numbers right. 243 yards, one TD, two interceptions, 67.4. Oh, wait. That was Matthew Stafford. Sorry. I know Dak's in here someplace. Um, 176 yards, one TD, two interceptions, 56. No, that's Baker Mayfield, 56 rating. No, wait, here it is. 292 yards, zero TDs, one interception, 75.5. Aaron Rodgers against Seattle. Is this it? 209 yards, two TDs, two interceptions, 72 rating. No, that's Josh Allen. Here it is. 220 yards, two TDs, two interceptions, and 80.5. No, that was Tom Brady against Washington. Here it is. Here it is. 270 yards, zero TDs, zero interceptions, 80 point. No, that's Russell Wilson. I think I got it this time. Dak Prescott, 216 yards, zero TDs, two interceptions, 57.9. That's it. And see, how can I support Dak Prescott when he's the only quarterback out there in the NFL that has a bad game or a bad day. I mean, what was I thinking that the Dallas Cowboys could be without, I don't know, 
four or five of their top players in the lineup from an offensive tackle of Tyron Smith and not having, of course, Amari Cooper and then losing CeeDee Lamb at halftime. And, of course, there's not Demarcus Lawrence or, or Randy Gregory that, you know, or, or even Dalton Schultz. How could I have been so delusional to think that Dak Prescott could get a win in one of the most hostile environments in the NFL against a team that won a Super Bowl two seasons ago and was in the Super Bowl last year? And comparing Dak Prescott, I mean, with you know that performance that he had with Pat Mahomes, two hundred sixty yards and you know no TDs and an interception, clearly. Dak Prescott just sucks. And, you know, there's no if ands, or buts about it. Dak sucks. And all these years that I've been believing in Dak Prescott that, well, I guess I was wrong. I guess I should have put my belief elsewhere, you know, because we've had guys, and, and maybe I should have listened, because I remember a couple of years ago, you know, they told me how wrong I was to have faith in Dak Prescott that we would have been better had we tanked for Tua. And maybe if I had listened to those guys and we had actually lost enough or gotten close enough that we could have taken a few of our draft picks, you know, that we just wasted anyway. I mean, who needs to draft a Micah Parsons or, you know, a a CeeDee Lamb or a Diggs that maybe we should have tanked for Tua or traded up for Trevor you know, one of these guys that would be that elite quarterback, you know, or or maybe, you know, we should have done like the Rams and two number ones. We could have had Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford, I mean, dude's got like two touchdown passes and four interceptions, you know. I mean, that, that would have gotten us to win in Kansas City. That would have gotten us to win in Kansas City. We, we should have definitely done that one. Or maybe we should have in the draft traded up to have gotten, you know, I don't know, a real quarterback like Carson Wentz or Jared Goff, you know, because we'd be in such a great position had we done that because those guys never have games like this. They never, ever. And and I was just wrong. I, I should have listened to those other guys. I would have saved myself a lot of heartache and pain, and, and I would have known that just Dak Prescott sucks. He sucks. And I was wrong. He's not the guy. He's not the guy. It's hard to come to this realization, but better late than never. Uh, Tonight, we'll be live streaming um, for the uh, Tampa Bay Giants game. I hope you guys tune in and You know, the trolls will be here to tell me how stupid I was that, you know, the Eagles, we're afraid of them and Jalen Hurts. And, um, yeah. What an idiot! What an idiot! Yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to take my delusional self and get back to work. I appreciate you. Come on, Danny. Run it, Danny. Don't fumble it. Don't fumble it. Oh. I just said this thing. Don't fumble it. Rasheed. Rasheed, look. You know you're. Hold it, hold it, hold it.